everybody. In Chinese, like this. That's my name. In Chinese. Yeah, I can write like this. Uh, cursive. <laughs> Someday you can write like this too. <laughs> uh, I want to congratulate everybody because the moment you're here, you don't know what's going to happen to you because today. Yeah, this should be your milestone because you just connect yourself to Chinese and the culture. Yeah, the immediate effect, maybe you go to China to visit in a couple of years or near future. And the long-term effect is gonna be, it's really learning second language and culture, it's really open up your mind. If you never learn a second language and culture. Yeah, you, uh, you can, think yourself just as a global citizen, the world is wide open. Why you just stick to one place and one language for the whole life? So hopefully this Chinese class open your mind and give you open mind. This just apply to everywhere in your life and uh, live a more rich life. And you view the world, everything will be different. This is a bi-culture, bilingual, gonna give you this benefit. Yeah, so uh, let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Zhao Feng Chun. No, as Vicky Zhao. All my American friends, everybody know me as Vicky Zhao. And I learned my my uh, master's degree in China uh, is called the Chinese Applied Writing Theory Study, and my bachelor's is the Chinese Language and Literature. Mm -hmm. I taught college in China at the Women's University, and another, uh, my hometown college, the Jinzhou Teachers College, after I graduated. Uh, I also worked at a newspaper. I was a journalist, an editor, and a columnist. It's fun. Um, yeah. And then now I'm a Tai Chi instructor, certified. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, this is the brief. Yeah, like my uh, Chinese name, if you're right, non cursive is like that. So I want that everybody has your Chinese name already. I want you to visualize it and then practice, yeah. You can put, I put uh, Chinese names to my, I have two children, put in their room. You know, visualize, every day you see it, you see it, yeah, and get there. Mm -hmm. So I would like to know everybody, we start from Judy, okay. and your Chinese name is, uh, say your Chinese name. I shooting, and my English name is Judy Boyle, and um, occupation, I just work part-time in a store in the mall. But I'm here because uh, 25 years ago, I, lived in, I had the opportunity to live in Taiwan for four years four and years. work there. And uh, of course, I studied Chinese at that time. I taught English as a second language. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to brush up on what I've forgotten, which Honestly. is pretty much everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Kalistina. Okay, I'll try that again. Kalistina. Yeah. And uh, Arnina Fisher. I work at Sanford as a receptionist on the fourth floor. Mm -hmm. um, it's mostly doing referrals, actually, for that area. Um, and it's on my bucket list to go to China. <coughs> so I'd like to go see the Great Wall of China. It's one of those things I want to do. And so 
And I thought, well, we'll stir <laughs> at least to say hello. And, you know, I usually try. My father was in the military, so I grew up oh. overseas. Oh. Um, mostly in Europe, though. Germany. Okay. Well, in Germany. And so I spent a lot of time, you know, over there and picked up a few things of how to say hello and goodbye and thank you and all that. And the languages, you know, like French and Italian and all that. But I don't know anything about Sure? Yeah, so I thought I gotta add that to my yeah. links to say hello and <laughs> where's the restroom and thank you and wow. a few basic okay. things just to get there. Yeah. Right. Okay. 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 Hi, this food. Good check. <laughs> I'm Emily. I'm Emily. Okay. I'm Emily. I'm Emily. That's right. All right. Or Emily um, Robinson is my American name and. Um, Right now I'm studying music education at the University of Mary, mm -hmm. and I'm in the school of student teaching right now, so <laughs> that's very exciting. Um, I play the violin, and um, yeah, I've, I've known Spanish for a while now, but I'm ah. excited to learn Chinese, and mm -hmm. my husband inspired me because he was actually... Well, you'll hear about him. <laughs> <Okay. Whoa. laughs> but it, we would like to travel to China. So okay, okay. Just three languages. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Uh, Andy, was that correct? Andy, that's right. Andy, okay. Or Andy Robinson, English, you know. Um, I work at Great Plains Security Systems. I do kind of billing and medical alerts for the elderly and stuff like that also. And I'm also a licensed science teacher. I tutor chemistry in my off time and stuff like that. Where did you teach? Bismarck. Um, well, I'm not currently employed anywhere. I kind of do homeschool groups and single students and stuff like that, just kind of oh, co-learning okay. and tutoring, you know, that sort of thing. And um, Yeah. Yeah, so that's fun. I enjoy that. And I don't know, I just kind of have been interested in China. It was something I never knew a lot about, kind of. So I started researching it a few years ago, just kind of to learn more about it. And wow. as a country, I felt kind of insulated here in North Dakota, so just to learn more about the world, you know. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been to other countries? I have been to Europe before. I went to okay. Italy, Germany, that kind of thing, but not Asia. So. Oh, Asia. Wow. It's, it's a, a different long flight. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> it's not that long. <laughs> this uh, Chinese New Year, one of my friends flew back. She got a $900 round trip. Mm -hmm. Really? Wow. From Bismarck. <laughs> yeah, it's not that, that far. Not that yeah, mm -hmm. only take about 20 hours from Bismarck. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like I flew from Beijing to Los Angeles only 13 hours. 18 years ago. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. So everybody got your name. And before we get to China facts, like what do you want to know about China? I mean, think, oh, I want to come to that class. What do you want to know? And what do you already know about China? Great Wall. <laughs> what else do you know? Maybe just what's going on modern day. Like I've read some books, but those are all kind of outdated now too. Just maybe what's current. Events or something? I'm not sure. Really. So what's in your head already about China? That there's a lot of change going on. Yeah. There's lots of urbanization, that kind of thing, migration to cities, I guess, that sort of thing. Kind of just mm -hmm. everything from a few years ago, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Square? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I came from Beijing. So I used to just rode a bike 18 years ago. Yeah, across Tiananmen Square and everywhere. Back then, no. Lots of people driving, but now lots of people driving. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. How about you, Judy? How about? Well, I am very curious about changes that have taken place since mm -hmm. since I was in Asia. I know things have really changed. Mm -hmm. and, uh, like Tiananmen Square. You know, I remember when there was the yeah. you know the demonstration there, and I had a friend who was there at the time, and mm -hmm. just kind of wondering. Also in the media, I've heard lots of about China, China mm -hmm. and stuff. And everything made in China. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Curious, yeah, what's it like? Okay, are we going to go to the next one? <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, China located in the map is the East Asia. The number one populated country in the world. One point <coughs> three almost one point four billion. The size is different because uh, some sizes of China is bigger, uh, US is bigger, but we just, you can just take in and it's about the same size of the land. If you don't count Alaska, yeah. It's about the same size. Mm -hmm. And the same thing has uh, grassland, the desert, mountains, lakes, and rivers. And then they have a coastline. We'll show uh, the next slide, yeah. Uh, 14,500 coastline. The Beijing is the capital. Uh, the president of Xi Jinping, he visited not long ago, right? Yeah, Xi Jinping. And then the currency is uh, renminbi. I have a little, I have a, hey, I'll have four. This is a, like a 50 cents, <laughs> this uh, a dollar. Yeah, they call it yuan. This is one dollar, this is 20 dollars. You got 20 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this there. <laughs> Oh, and they have a coin too. Yeah. So the you um you say one e yuan or say yuan is there? Yeah. We say dollar here. There's the yuan. Mm -hmm. So that is the China map. I mean China uh, flag. You notice the yellow stars there, because China is a communist country, and then the center one is represent the communist party. And the other four yeah, yeah, is like uh, workers, farmers, soldiers, and the intellectual. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the red is Chinese favorite color, and also represent that lots of people died for the freedom there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, the next one. This is their. Yeah, this is the coastline here, and Beijing is here. I grew up here, this corner. <laughs> yeah, near the ocean, and I went to my university is here. Now it's cold, it's here. I mean, this year is pretty warm here. Yeah, it's snow, snow, I mean, it snows in the winter, and it, yeah. Uh, and the south here is like, a, uh, yes, like here, Florida, like, yeah, warmer. Yeah. And here, the both mountains. Okay. Any question you can ask? Yeah, also, Chinese map, you can remember, like a rooster. Like, oh, here's wow. a head, mm -hmm. <laughs> here's a neck, <laughs> and there's a tail. Mm -hmm. See? If you look far away, it's like a, just a, a, a black, and then yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, I have a question. I know, um, you know, there's lots of places where tourists are probably drawn to. Are there any, like, maybe places that are just remote and beautiful that you would recommend visiting? Ah. Oh. If we had the chance. Aha, <laughs> uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, not the major cities, aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, Kunming is a beautiful place. My brother and my mom live there mm -hmm. now. Uh, yes, I'm here. Here. Mm -hmm. And also you can look Guilin, if she went there. Guilin is uh, Guangxi. Guangxi, Guangzhou. Yeah, here this area, it, it just, just mm -hmm. mountains and rivers, it's just, mm -hmm. yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, Kunming is very special. It's just called the four spring, I mean, like four seasons like spring. Also called the spring city. Oh, yeah. Anywhere, even now, lots of flowers I mean, everywhere. When you drive, uh, a girl can just stop. When you're in the stoplight, they can just come to sell you flowers. Wow. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. And this. Yeah, this, there are 34. Yeah, the 34 provincial level is a unit. 
four giant cities here. Beijing, Tianjin, Shanghai, and Chongqing. And you don't want to visit there. But Beijing, you have to stop. This is a thousand of years of history there. Yeah, you, you can, yeah. Uh, Tianjin, Shanghai is a beautiful city, more of westernized. The tower is very uh, famous. Chongqing, Chongqing Seven uh, Mountains, Twelve Towers. And there's a five, they call the uh, Guangxi, Inner Mongolia, Tibet. You know Tibet, huh? And uh, Ningxia, Xinjiang. And two special uh, administrative regions is Hong Kong and Macau. So here we have a 54 states, right? 50, 50. 50. <laughs> I put that for you, 50. And they have about 34. So Macau and Hong Kong, mm -hmm. they're considered what you're calling special administrative regions. Yeah, because they were, yes ago, they were uh, ruled Under by British rule. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they returned. Probably 10, 15 years ago, yeah. uh, okay. but they because uh, yeah they more westernized. Actually, Hong Kong is a beautiful place. I want to visit something. Yeah. It's combined the eastern and the western. It's just beautiful. Uh, they speak English, of course, because the UK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of visit. Because then is there a geographic map? So you, yeah, another, and any country, if you've never been there or you want to know, you know where it's at and where the, yeah, like, what's it like, like a mountains and what, okay, here, on the coast line, anywhere is the same, more populated and the more uh, crops and growth. Industry and most is here along this. And this is the mountain. Uh, here's a mountain. Xiao uh, Xianling. And here, yeah, this this old big mountain. And here, Himalaya. This is the uh, Kunlun. This is all of very famous mountains, big ones. Uh, and uh, here has some desert on this part, and the <coughs> plateau here. <coughs> Hi. So in China, when we were little, we know every uh, river all go fly, uh, flies to the east. You know why? Because it's the ocean here. It's all that way. <laughs> you always go that way. Here you have both sides of the ocean, so <laughs> um, can go either way. <laughs> okay. This is his life. Okay. Um, any question? Yeah, you just remember kind of like a rooster. We, when we uh, learn a geographic uh, elementary school, we uh, memorize it and then draw the lines. Uh, yeah, so we just remember it's like a rooster. Okay, here. Where does one go? The big things here. Great wall. In China, they were saying that if you are, I mean, you can't be called a good man if you never climb the uh, Great Wall. So everybody is <laughs> supposed to be mad. And uh, Yangtze River, we've been there, is uh, the third lar longest one. And there's, yeah, every ethnic group has their own language. So Mandarin, you are learning today, is official. So I don't understand their language. but. Uh, yeah, Mandarin is just uh, in the school system, just official language there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And this is the most spoken language. Uh -huh. You just learned it today, start it. <laughs> yeah. The reason we already said it, right? Okay, mm -hmm. we'll go to the next one. Any questions you ask? You guys are quiet. <laughs> <laughs>
I guess I have a question about the uh -huh. dialects. Um, I've heard that with some of the dialects, it only varies in how you actually speak the words. Like the writing is the same. Is that true, or how does that work with the? Do you, you mean use, the dialects in the? Like, do the characters remain the same mostly, and it's just how you speak them, or no, how does that? Work? Totally different system. That's I don't. You have it here, right? What about Cantonese? That can I don't understand Cantonese. But can you the do it? Yeah, Cantonese writing yeah similar, but still some more different. Mm -hmm. I can read it. I can say it. Others, the dialogues, uh, no way. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting, huh? I don't think other countries like that. Well, Germany is more Italian than the United really? States. Um, some of the, like, I have cousins who live in the north, and oh. if they speak their dialect, it's more of a Dutch sounding thing. Oh. Um, if in the south they speak a dialect, it's more like some French words in it. Mm. And so if you're actually speaking your dialect, it's not that you speak French, it's just that you those words are part have been incorporated over generations. Oh. And so they don't, it's like, oh, they're speaking, I can't understand when they speak, but, you know, so it's, it's the same kind of, I mean, they, they have it too, it's very, yeah, or like, you know, the Serbs and the Croats, I mean, they all, you know, they all speak Slavic, but if they speak in there, they don't understand each other. Either. Okay, wow, well, and then China has 55, 54, 55, think about it, but their minority there is Han, like me, look like me. You see, most people is Han, uh, it's uh, 95 percent of uh, yeah, the population. Others, uh, yeah, uh, most in the mountains uh, on the east side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we got a. Uh, it's continuous civilization. The earliest one. It's pretty amazing. So it's. Mm -hmm. It's a. Uh, History of Chinese kind of joking, uh, talking about the rest of history, <coughs> 200 years and then something. <laughs> it's a new country, fresh, <laughs> but there's lots of uh, yeah, uh, history there. So in yeah, it's I mean if you, it's lots of need to, to explore and discover. It is, yeah, and the, the world class tourists attractions. That is unique. It's nowhere else has it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you, everybody familiar. Right now it's getting more popular here, right, in the Western Chinese medicine. Mm -hmm. And even in Bismarck, they have acupuncture. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, uh, Chinese doctor practice, yeah, it's getting more popular. and. Uh, Kung Fu and Tai Chi, this is another field. Yeah, it's getting more popular because it's a health benefit. You know, when I learned Tai Chi, I was about 19 in college. I played volleyball, bro broke my ankle. So I have to, I can't, couldn't go to uh, the PE class. I have to go to the recovery class. And the professor there is from uh, physical education. He cured himself well, with Qigong or with cancer, cured cancer. Powerful. He did all kind of, yeah, I learned Tai Chi. I didn't know it, it's that good, but now if you search uh, Tai Chi's benefit, it's just, it's just too good to be true. I don't know, oh, this is good. <laughs> so I started to teach it since last year, and it's getting more popular here. Yeah, it's really good stuff. I think the uh, Kung Fu or Chinese medicine, like I learned uh, Meridian. Uh, yeah, I had Meridian training, I mean, the training background, so it just, is the Chinese wisdom, yeah, discovery is the contribution to the world. I think for human body, for well-being, uh, yeah, yeah, kung fu. Uh, actually, all the kung fu, the karate, and other originated from China. Mm -hmm. So there's another one, kung fu panda three. Anybody watch it? <laughs> I want to watch it. <laughs> See the the picture there with the bowser. We're talking about Chinese food, the bowser. You know, bowser dumplings. Of his chopsticks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your Chinese food. So, what, what, what kind of food do you like? What's your favorite Chinese food? Oh, you have so many. So many. Yeah, yeah the bowls. Uh, bowls and jowls. Dumpling is my favorite. Yeah. Bowls and yeah, anything. <laughs> yeah, because you can put anything inside of it. How about you, Christina? Um, you know, I like, uh, I like noodles. I like them. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, if you visit China, there's tons of you know, the different kinds. Another thing is that the, 
not the Chinese food, every province has their specialties. Mm -hmm. it's, they're different. Different area eat differently. And you, you just get, uh, yeah, that's the best. <laughs> How about you? Um, I really like noodles and just lots of vegetables and rice and, you know, things that are different um, than yeah. German food. <laughs> what my parents, you know, had a yeah. lot growing up. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, kind of the same thing. I mean, I like how there's some more seafood and stuff in there, too. And different seafood, things like that. yeah. We don't always right. get in North Dakota, so that's nice. Too. Yeah. Uh -huh. So where do you grow up? Right here in Bismarck, actually. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <coughs> what was special in your region? Special in my region? Uh, northeast. Um, we. Hmm? We eat a uh, lot. People there eat a lot of red rice. Because oh. actually, when I grew up with that, it's cheaper. <laughs> Turn out that is better than white rice. White rice is no fiber, and this is better. And uh, soybeans. And the apples and pears, that's famous, yeah, it's lots of uh, um, seafood. I grew up at the corner, the, yeah. <laughs> uh, in the morning, my mom uh, went to uh, street market to buy fish and shrimp. So we, we eat fish in the morning, it's fresh. <laughs> so, uh, Katrina, where do you grow up here? Actually, I can grow up here. Oh. I've only lived here about five years now. Okay, but, like um, me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm four years. Um, no, I actually grew up close. I mean, I, I came to the States when I was 15. And um, oh. graduated from So you speak Oregon. German? I do. Oh, I do. okay, see? Gosh, I'm you guys. You're in Taiwan, and you grew up in German, I Germany. Mm -hmm. And uh, you speak Spanish? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> We're representing. Yes. <laughs> How about you? Where do you go? Oh, I grew up in Seattle. Okay. Okay. Warmer and uh, warm moisture, huh? Yeah, warm moisture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I like get started to speak Chinese. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, um, watch this, this one. Hey everyone, it's Ben. And I'm Mike, recording at the Ning Hao Chinese Studio. We're here to help you understand the language in the dialogues. Let's learn to speak Chinese. Okay. First, we should listen to the dialogue. 你好. 你好. 你是大卫吗? 对, 我是大卫. Well, 你好 is obviously hello. Yes. If you've ever heard someone speak Chinese, you've probably heard 你好 before. I know that ni is the word for you. Right, and hao means good. So ni hao is literally, you're good? That's nice. I know. Do you have any other questions? I do. Chinese is a tonal language, so let's talk about tones. All right. Both ni and hao are third tones. But it sounds like they're using second tone when they say ni. Am I wrong? No. That was very perceptive, Mike. When we have two third tone words in a row, it can be awkward to say. Ah, so to make the words flow better, you change the first word to the second tone? Right. Don't feel confused when people say ni hao and think it might be wrong. Interesting. What does the next sentence mean? Ni shi da wei ma means are you David? Okay. Da wei was the Chinese <coughs> version of David. Okay, so should must be are. Yes, but in this. See the greeting, what do they say? Ni hao. Ni hao. Are they talking about the tone, right? Yeah. Chinese has four major tones. One is slightly middle, you know, like 
Yeah, the first bundle flat up and then down. Like a ni hao. I can go back there. Did you hear that? Hey everyone, it's Fan. And I'm Mike, recording at the Ni Hao Chinese Studio. We're here to help you understand the language in the dialogues. Let's learn to speak Chinese. Okay. First, we should listen to the dialogue. Mm-hmm. Well, Ni Hao is obviously hello. Yes. yes, there it comes. If you've ever heard of someone speak Chinese, you've probably heard Ni Hao before. I know that Ni is the word for you. Right, and the Hao means good. So, Ni Hao is literally, you good? That's nice. I know. Do you have any other questions? I do. Chinese is a tonal language, mm-hmm. so let's talk about tones. All right, both Ni and Hao are third tone. But it sounds like they're using second tone when they say Ni. Am I wrong? No. That was very perceptive, Mike. When we have two third tone words in a row, it can be awkward to say. Ah, so to make the words flow better, you change the first word to the second tone? Right. Don't feel confused when people say Ni Hao and think it might be wrong. Interesting. What does the next sentence mean? Okay. So Ni Hao is the third tone. Two third tone together. The first one go out. Just like I just learned uh, this is a table about English. And uh, you guys say like uh, we say water bottle. And you say water bottle. It's the same thing like this. You make it flow. Mm-hmm. This is a lot of like uh, uh, other foreigners have speak English has accents because we don't get every flow. Yeah, we learn from the textbook and the teacher. And, yeah. Uh, so if you speak like Chinese like a native, you need to ma- master the tone and also the flow. Mm. So uh, can we just uh, use your Tianzi Ge? We're going to write it. I'll show you how to write it. Okay. The first stroke is like this. And then we'll practice how to say it. On your left, Kenzu Ge is uh, like a four, divided to four squares. Yeah, if uh, like a Ni Hao is from left to right, the two sides. Same thing on this one. So we put the one on the left and the other to the right, okay. The second stroke is going down, straight. And the third one is here. The fourth is straight and then it's down. Mm-hmm. The fifth one is here. Chinese character is more like a building block. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Sixth one here and the seventh one here. We have a pinion system. The Ni Hao. Okay, we made a Tao and then we practice. Okay, everybody's ready for the second? Okay. This is the first. Together is the first. Okay? And this is the second. <coughs> this is the third. This also means female. Mm-hmm. Or girl. And the, the right side you put. This is the 
it's a wine stock. And then the other one. This left side means girl or female. The right side means boy. So a girl and a boy. This is why Chinese, like I have my daughter and my son. It's perfect. <laughs> How? It's good. So the yi literally means you. How means good. You're good. Why I say you're good? This means hello. Yeah, greeting, right? Ni hao. And this way you will go to... Uh, separate you have ni, you go ni. The trick is when you say ni, you don't have it in English. How about Spanish? Germany, German. So the trick is you can go like ni, how, ni, you can go down and then up. I kind of remind you, ni, how. But you go together, you want to flow, ni, how. You just go like this. Mm -hmm. Ni uh, If you are yeah, single, separate, you say ni. But uh, together, you say ni hao. Like in the, uh, yeah, ni hao. Go. Ni. Okay, can we practice? Yes, she know. <laughs> you too, and then say ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. You're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> Speak a little louder. Ni hao. Good. Ni hao. It's good. Ni hao. Yeah, wonderful. You know, once you, you had other language experience, it's easier to get a third one than fourth, fifth. One of my friends' husband got five languages. Yeah. So this, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ni hao. I think everybody said it already, huh? Mm -hmm. So next time you uh, see you two can talk Chinese, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Ni hao. This is what it is. Is the Chinese version of David. Okay, so should must be R. Okay. Yes. But in this sentence, shi is R. But more generally, shi is the verb for to be. In Chinese, you use shi whether you are talking about one person or many people. Well, that makes things easier. At the end of the sentence, you will say another very common word. Okay. And then the second one is, you can watch this. 谢谢再见. Yeah, this is the website you can read it down. I like it. You hear ni hao, they call them.
We try to 你好,谢谢,再见 You have to know how to write it <laughs> Yeah, later on we more focus on more conversations Okay, 谢谢 Just get a feel of how to write it in Chinese What do you think? It's pretty cool or difficult? Yeah. <laughs> I talked talk to my Tai Chi class, they're seniors One is 79 Anything you need, any time, doesn't matter the age, you learn something new, you stimulate your brain, your brain is smart. Here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, say 见, uh, this one is 见, 再见. This two go down. 再见. Like a xie xie. Xie xie. Zai jie. Zai means again. Jie means see. See again. See you again. Zai jie. Okay? Now you learn the three of them. How about we get up and uh, say to each other? Practice. Okay. Here, that's your pet <laughs> So the pain makes sense? Yeah, that does. That helps with the Yes. 
Tom. Tom. Like this, Tom. 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 Good. Tom. Tom. Okay. I am Tom. I am Tom.